This is Brian Wormers. We're going to be talking about the biliary system and pancreas for medical surgical nursing. These are your learning objectives. Cholecystitis is inflammation of the bladder. This can occur with or without gallstones. This could also, these stones can be so sharp that they may perforate the, the wall and can lead into peritonitis if this is a chronic type of thing. We're not really sure what causes these, but we are thought thinking that it's caused by abnormal cholesterol levels as well as an increased level of bile salts. Manifestations that you might see on your patients include jaundice, icterus, itching, flatulence, biliary colic, a Murphy sign, which is pain that increases with deep inspiration, a Bloomberg sign, which is rebound tenderness, and then you might see some statorrhea. Nutritional therapy for this is a low-fat diet, uh, fat soluble vitamins and some bile salts to help break down things. Drug therapy might be um, narcotic in nature just to relieve some of the pain. Some anticholinergic drugs and some antiemetics for vomiting. You can do lithotripsy, which is shock waves going through a water tank to try and break up those stones. Otherwise, you can do percutaneous uh, transhepatic biliary catheter. So you're taking a small catheter going through the skin and and going after it, otherwise you can do surgery on this. Pancreatitis is a very serious and life-threatening inflammatory process where your pancreas starts dissolving itself. Um, those enzymes get activated and start causing necrosis. Four of the hallmarks of this would be lipolysis, which is release of fatty acids. Uh, proteolysis is splitting of proteins. Necrosis of blood vessels, which causes bleeding and then inflammation. Symptoms, you know, it really kind of varies, but the worse that it gets, um, you know, it usually tends to worsen with alcohol, fatty food ingestion. Um, they get jaundice, they get a colon sign, they get per Turner sign. Bowel sounds may decrease. Abdominal tenderness, they might get a rigid abdomen. They might have nausea, vomiting, ascites, changes in vital signs, and changes bumps up on their liver, liver enzymes and glucose. So what we want to do is manage pain. Um, that can either be with some opioids. Um, often we use Dilaudid instead of morphine. Dilaudid is thought to not have a spasm at the sphincter OD, which would make this worse. Um, although I have seen conflicting evidence based on that. There's also a decre decreased GI tract activity. So most of the time you try and keep uh, their PO intake to a minimum, give them lots of fluids, and even decompress their stomach with an NGT. If they've got gallstones that's causing this, then going in after it either with an ERCP or surgical uh, is the way to go to get rid of those stones. Now with this, we can do a Whipple procedure. So if there is severe cancer or something in the abdomen in which you've got to or part of that biliary tree isn't working, we can do a Whipple procedure. And basically you're taking um, your intestines and using that to make a um, flow. So from your gallbladder, and then that's going to hook up to your pancreas, and then that's going to hook up to the food coming out of the stomach. So you're just kind of cutting it here, taking it up, and making it part of your biliary tree. So this can be used for biliary colic and biliary stones. Um, or re revisions, like I said, related to cancer. That concludes this presentation. If you have questions, please talk to your instructor.